saw this question that Brian Allen had posted in the storyline forum at eLearning Heroes today. And even though Brian is an Ohio State fan, I thought this was a really good question and wanted to put an idea out here on Screener Forum. And maybe this idea might help you too. So here's his situation. Brian wants to build a slide where learners have some choices, these checkboxes like you see here in the screenshot that he attached to his post. And although he doesn't want to require the learner to mark one of the checkboxes, he does want to give learners a little message if they try to move on without selecting a checkbox. Just a little something saying, are you sure you don't want to choose one of those options? So here's one way that you could accomplish that. And I made my example a very lovely maize in blue because I knew Brian would appreciate that. And this is just a super simple mock-up with some checkboxes to kind of replicate what Brian had described. So this is my slide and then down here in the layer pane, I made a slide layer for my message that I want to show if learners don't mark one of the checkboxes on my base layer. And on this slide layer, this is real simple, I've just got this partially transparent rectangle to kind of create this light box effect. And then here's a rectangle with some text. And I've also got these two buttons here for the learner's choices. The left hand button is going to let the learner go back to the base layer of the slide in case they do want to mark one of those checkboxes. Maybe they just overlook the choices and you know maybe they just hit the next button by mistake or whatever. If they want to go back and mark a choice, that's going to let them do that. So this trigger over here on that button is just telling Storyline to hide this layer when the user clicks the button. Once they do that, they'll be back on the base layer. This right hand button is a little bit different. This button is going to allow them to move on to the next slide if they want to. So maybe for whatever reason they don't want to mark one of the checkboxes, they really do want to go to the next slide, this is going to let them do that. And so for the trigger on this button, we're telling Storyline go ahead and jump to the next slide when the user clicks the button. And then on the base layer, here's what I did to tell Storyline how I want things to work and the circumstances under which we're going to show them that message or not. So um, on my slide, I've got my own next button that I added to my slide, just like Brian did in his example. And over here in the trigger pane are the two triggers that control what happens when learners click on that button. And this first trigger lets them jump to the next slide if they've selected one of those five checkboxes, because that's the expected behavior, right? They mark a checkbox, they click next, and we move them on. So this trigger says, if we open this up, we can see the detail. It says jump to the next slide when the user clicks the next button, but we have some conditions. One of those check boxes needs to be marked, either the first one or the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth one. So we've got all of these or conditions as you can see here. So if one of them is marked, we're gonna let them jump on to the next slide. The second trigger is what reveals the layer for us. Okay, so this is just saying show the layer called message. That's the name I gave it down here. When the user clicks this next button, if we open this up, we can see the detail. Show the layer called message when the user clicks the next button. For this one, we don't really need any conditions on this trigger because this trigger is only ever going to fire if the learner is still on the slide because the conditions from this first trigger were not met because triggers always fire in the order that they're listed from top to bottom. So if this trigger doesn't work out for people, like if they don't mark one of the uh, check boxes and they try to click next, then we're going to move them on to this trigger, which is going to show the layer. So let's go ahead and preview this and we'll take a look at the behavior. So here's my slide. And if I neglect to mark any of my check boxes and I just go ahead and click next, I'm going to get my layer that's going to give me my message. And this is where I need to make a choice. Um, either yes, I want to go back and mark one of the checkboxes, or no, I don't. If I say no, I go right on to my next content slide. Now let's replay and see one other situation here. So let's say, uh, again, I'm not going to mark a checkbox. I just click next. Oh, and then I get this message. And, and then I realize, oh, yeah, I was going to mark one of those boxes. So I'm going to click this left hand button. I come back here, and this is where I can select one. And now when I click next, I'm going to move right on to my content slide. So Brian, I hope that helps. I think that this will give you the behavior that you're looking for. Go blue.